All right, in this video, I'm going to show you some hidden tricks in the UI of the Zbrush for iPad application, which I think are fantastic to speed up the workflow. So it is very easy, very simple again, but it's good to know that there. So the way that you change the brush size is by clicking on this icon right here, and then you get that slider, and then you can use your finger to essentially slide over, and that changes the uh, the brush size. Now, the other method that is not uh, hidden or anything is using the three fingers to click and or tap and slide up and down, right? So that allows you to change the brush size on the flight. You can also change the um, the focal shift. So the same thing, three fingers, but this time you can do left and right. Uh, but the one that I wanna show you, which is kind of like uh, hidden in a way, is that you don't have to tap on the brush size and then use the slider. If you actually tap and hold, you'll see that the, the UI or the slider is a lot simpler. It doesn't have the other buttons that when you tap, you get like the, the dynamic and the other three dots right here. So if I just go ahead and tap and hold, I can also slide, right? So all you have to do is tap, slide, or tap, hold, and slide, and that allows you to change that on the fly. I personally prefer the three fingers because when I'm working, it's a lot easier that way, but you also have this alternative method where it's just tap, hold, and slide to increase or decrease the brushes. And it works exactly in the same way for the C-Add to add or decrease the, the intensity of the brush. So hopefully this helps.